Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Locodon80 titled, Go Fund Me for an iPhone 12, 256 gigabytes needed. iPhone 12 Pro. I've had this iPhone 6s for six years now. I need a new phone desperately, and I only have enough money to pay for college at the moment. Please help. I'm trying to save up for the iPhone 12 Pro Gold 256 gigabytes. I take a lot of selfies for my hot girl shit. 256 gigabytes is needed. You know, you may take a lot of selfies, but you can also save those selfies onto the computer, thus saving space on your phone. I know, it's a hard concept, but it works. This next one is by a little stidious 5 titled Choosing Beggar Agrees to Pay Full Price for TV as Long as Seller Gives Him Free Board and Room for a Couple of Nights. Bonus points if Seller allows him to share a bed. $100, 50 inch Philips Smart TV with Remote. Hello, is this still available? Message sent. Yes, it's available. Do you deliver? No. Where are you located? Here. Kinda out of the town. If I come to you, do you mind if I stay over a couple nights? I can bring a sleeping bag, or we can share the bed. I'm good. I would say in what world does a choosing beggar think that they could stay over at somebody's house and share a bed with them, but only in the choosing beggar's world. That's the world that this occurs in. This next one is from Lime Green Bunny, titled, Local Lass Offered a Load of DVDs on Facebook. Not only were they free, she also dropped them off at someone's house. Cheeky Sod wasn't happy that a DVD was missing from its case and messaged to complain. Just letting you know it weren't in the case. I'll pick them up tomorrow and take them to someone who's more grateful. They won't be here tomorrow. They're going to his grandparents with them for a few days. Well, I hope they're a little more grateful and respectful than his dad. I'm not being ungrateful, but if it was me, before I give anyone any DVDs or something, I'd make sure all the cases had the correct DVDs in, and then offer them to people, not to just assume that they are in the cases, and I've informed the admins of the pages you posted the advert to. There were so many people that wanted them. I was doing a good deed. I would have given them all to the other girl, but I chose to share them with you ungrateful bastard. If you want to share, that's fine. I hope you're happy with yourself. I think what cracks me up is the fact that the beggar is willing to lose it over a single DVD missing, even though they got a bunch of them for free. It just goes to show, even free doesn't satisfy beggars. This next one is by Banana Fields, titled, Hey McDonald's, I wasn't careful. Please give me free money. Thanks. Hey McDee's, can I get a refund on my order since I wasn't able to eat my food? I was in an accident. The food flew everywhere. <laughs> we do not understand your request. Sorry. You know, beggar, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but McDonald's doesn't owe you anything because you failed to secure your food safely with a seatbelt, thus preventing it from going everywhere in the event of an accident. This next one is from Stosfia, titled, I was looking for art and creative work, but $75. You'll be lucky to get a very good to excellent thumbnail. Need wall paint or portrait? Need empty wall and rental home painted? Perhaps a 4 foot by 4 foot painting of something beautiful blank landscape and a sleeping bear? Great job for a high school artist looking to build resume. Final product needs to be very good to excellent. $75! Wait, so let me get this straight. You're only paying $75 for someone to paint a 4 by 4 area which is most likely going to take them several hours? Yeah, good luck being able to get a very good to excellent painting as a result of that pay. This next one is by Kodoran12 titled, Barbecue Joint Knows How to Deal with Choosing Beggars. Be like Terry. He sees a light beer. He drinks free light beer. Terry is happy and grateful. Don't be like Lee A from Yelp. She sees a free light beer and complains that there isn't a better selection of free beer. Just be like Terry. Terry is cool. I mean, it couldn't get any more clearer than that. You can't really complain about free beer. And if you want to complain about the free beer, there's a simple option. You don't have to drink it. 
This next one is from Hopeless Magic titled either this is a fantastic troll or the most eloquent choosing beggar I've ever seen. Dearest Anthro Breast Artist, it has come to my grandest attention that you dabble in the craft of furry hentai witchery. It beckons me to partake. Henceforth, I will be requesting a rendering of my original character, fully nude. Triple D breasts abound in free. I lack the detrimental funds to purchase this piece, and therefore, in the dollar stead, I will offer an audience with my gathering of acquaintances in which to display this piece. I do not tolerate slow responses, so unless thou would care to feel the scathing dragon fire of my rage, I expect you to reply immediately, as my time is precious. Also, no gaze. Erotica Tradesman, my time is of the utmost value. <laughs> Disclosed is a reference of the object of my desire, the woman of which my mortal heart beats like the thunder of the Pegasus hooves. The woman whose affection burns within me like the venom of the chimera. Sun's pick. I'm logging off this hell site. <laughs> I don't even know what I just read. It's hard to tell if it's a troll or not because, quite frankly, there are people that would actually do something like this. However, I'm leaning toward it was a troll, but it was fun to read. This next one is by Fellow Human titled My Dad Says. Is the price negotiable? Sorry, I'm firm on the price. Come on, man. The last one I looked at that was open, I shined a UV light on it and there were crusty splash marks of organic nature all over the controller and the front of the console. Sorry, I already have a potential buyer at my price anyways. It is used, not saying it isn't, though maybe has a total of around 10 hours on it. Good luck, you fragile little snowflake. My dad says only poofs use X-Bone anyway. I guess I will look for a PS5. I get it. Life is confusing when you're 12 years old. It's funny how the beggar goes to insult this person, I, I guess about an Xbox, when in fact they were after it in the first place. They just didn't get their way, so like most beggars, they resorted to throwing insults. And our final one is from Rando Boomer, titled, You should pay all our rent. We're doing you a favor. This is a story about my sister-in-law and her useless boyfriend. Sister-in-law is my wife's sister and is a terrific person. Useless boyfriend is decidedly not. In the choosing beggar section, he is the gift that keeps on giving, like chlamydia. In April of 2020, having lost their jobs due to COVID, they moved in with us rent-free until they get back on their feet. We're happy to have sister-in-law. She's been absolutely terrific. Pitching in around the house, spending time with the family, and being my wife's best friend. This is decidedly not true of useless boyfriend. He locks himself in the room playing video games all day long. He complains about the food, only recently agreed to chip in for higher speed internet which he kept demanding we pay for, and otherwise makes it clear of how much an imposition it is for him to live in our home rent free. Sister-in-law was finally able to get a full-time job last month. Their finances are still a mess, but things are improving and she said they'd move out in the spring. Honestly, we're all going to miss her. Useless boyfriend? The best I can say is I don't care if the door hits him on the way out or not, just as long as he's on the other side of it. Our oldest son is 23 and moved about 30 minutes away in the fall of 2019 so he could be close to his work. Thankfully, he's remained employed full-time despite COVID. In the fall of 2020, he renewed his lease for one year in a nice but small studio apartment. Recently, a fantastic job opportunity arose for our son. He's moving further away, which is sad, but it's a great opportunity and we're happy for him. The largest problem for him is his lease, which has still 10 months to go. He spoke with his landlord, who is a good guy. The landlord said he'd be willing to let our son out of the lease ordinarily, but with COVID, he has several tenants who haven't paid rent for a while and he can't afford another apartment generating no income. He agreed that he would let our son out of the lease the moment he could rent the apartment to someone else, but the market has been really slow and he doesn't know how long that would take. I don't blame the landlord a bit. He's being fair. 
Looking to get out of the lease sooner, our son suggested sister-in-law and useless boyfriend move in. He would move out February 1st, but pay for February and March. They would pick up the rent in April. This would give them two more months to get their finances in order, and he'd only be out two months rent. And as an added bonus, it's closer to sister-in-law's job and would cut 10 minutes off her daily commute. Everybody's happy, right? Everybody except useless boyfriend, that is. Looking at the apartment, he complained it was too small. He complained that he'd have to pay for food and utilities. You know, the things he enjoys for free because my wife and I are paying now. He complained that he'd have to set up his computer in the living room instead of the bedroom. Then he dropped this little nugget. With utilities going to be higher, you should pay all our rent. We're doing you a favor. My son assumed he misheard him and restated his offer. He'd pay for February and March. They'd assume the payments in April. Nope, not good enough. To a useless boyfriend's way of thinking, our son should pay for rent for the remainder of the lease. 10 months and let them live there rent free. Sister-in-law was mortified at useless boyfriend for trying to take advantage of our son, her nephew, that way. After months and months of listening to him complain about his suffering while others paid for everything, she finally had enough. Useless boyfriend, I like this place, so I'm moving in, but you're not. When we get home, you're packing your stuff and I'm driving you to your mother's. No more free rides. We're done. Our son called with the happy news on multiple fronts while they drove home. Instead of 30 minutes, they took an hour to get home and we were a little concerned. We called and she confirmed everything was okay. So we assembled the moving boxes for him so we could start packing right away. Why postpone the party? He walked in the door to find everything he needed to pack up. Apparently, on their ride back, useless boyfriend was whining and complaining about their breakup. They stopped to talk for a bit, at which point he said something, sister-in-law won't say what, that creeped her out and she asked me to drive him to his mother's which I was more than pleased to do. We drove about an hour to his mother's place without speaking. I helped him carry his stuff to the porch. Out of politeness, I extended him a hand and wished him luck. He stared at me and didn't say a word. There was no, thanks for letting me live with you for free for almost a year, or tell sister-in-law I'm sorry. He just stared like the petulant child he is. Sister-in-law is doing really well. We're going to miss her moving away, and especially our son moving quite a distance away. But useless boyfriend? We'll miss him about as much as we will miss last week's recycling. At least the recycling can be turned into something useful. You would think that if other people are paying all of your bills and you don't have to pay anything, you would be a little grateful for the fact that, oh, I don't know, maybe somebody's parting with their hard-earned money to pay your bills that you should be paying. But in cases like this, this kind of person is a user through and through and they will use everybody they can until they can't use people anymore. And then who knows? All right. That's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell. It helps my channel grow. And drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.